Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video that shows you some internet tricks you could be using. Free and easy. Okay, to start with, if you ever wonder what your internet IP address was, there's a simple way to find it. Simply open up a internet browser of your choice and go to Google and once there, on the Google search engine type what's my IP and when you do you get your IP address in my case I went ahead and blocked mine out with X's so you could not see it but when you do it you will see your true internet IP address okay up next is a utility within Windows called print screen and this comes in handy when you purchase something off of, uh, for example, Google or eBay or Amazon. And you have a receipt on your screen um, for your purchase. And you want to save a copy of it. All you need to do is simply press the key print screen on your keyboard. And once you do that, it saves it to memory. And uh, you can go ahead and open up a program like uh, Paint, for example, and save it as a image on your computer. Okay, up next is browsing the internet in private. Um, if you are ever on your friend's computer or a public computer um, in an internet cafe, for example, um, and you need to use their computer, um, you can do it in private. And in other words, if you open up uh, Microsoft Edge, for example, and go over here to Settings, and down in the menu here it says New in Private Window. Once you click on that, it opens up a new tab, and the new tab allows you to browse the Internet in private and the way it works is that your browsing data like cookies and history and temporary files do not get saved on this uh, particular computer after you're done using it. Okay, up next a few handy little utilities out on the internet here. Specifically, um, Google gives them to you. First one is the Internet Translator. If you ever needed to translate a language um, or a uh, couple of words from one language to another language. Really easy to do. Go to Google, type on uh, the Google search engine here, translate. And once there, you get an opportunity to type in words or text um, what you would like to have translated. And if I say translate these words for me, on the right hand side it is in English also but I can scroll down here and select any language that I choose to here that's on the list and have um, translate these words for me into a different language and in this case I chose Spanish works really well and really quick and uh, I've used it multiple times all right, here are two more internet tricks that we can do. Um, the first one is the Google Internet Timer and a stopwatch. So once you open up a Google search engine and uh, type in Google Timer, um, you are presented with a timer here. And if we click on Start, it does a countdown from the default of five minutes and that is really handy and if we click on reset it resets it back to the default of five minutes at the same time um, we have the ability to click on stopwatch here and then go down here and click on start and it does a count up versus a count down um, so that um, you can use a stopwatch at your convenience for almost anything Okay, um, let's see. We can click on the numbers here and it resets it back or two rather um, the maximum um, time that you can use on your timer or your stopwatch. And in this case, it was 99 hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So um, there you go. A quick and easy way to use a um, Google Timer and a Google Stopwatch on the internet.
One last internet trick just for fun. Let's tell Google to do a barrel roll. And we do that by going and opening up an internet browser, going out to the Google search engine. And once you're there, type in the words, do a barrel roll. And once you do that, yes, Google will actually roll the page just as you saw it here. All right, that's the end of this video. Subscribe and leave a like if you like.